We will use make.com and ChatGPT to completely automate Google Sheets in this video. I will teach you everything you need to know on this very simple example. Here we have three columns. Description, has phone number and seller or buyer. The basic idea is we first have a description. I'm selling a three bedroom house in Dallas. I'm buying a three bedroom house in Dallas. And the task is if there is a phone number for this description. Then you're gonna say if this is a seller or buyer. So this will be a seller. But if there is no uh, phone number, then you don't fill this at all. So this will teach us how to filter for full phone numbers and then use ChatGPT to analyze the sentiment and then automatically fill uh, this column. We will go to make.com and in scenarios create a new scenario. We're gonna add a new uh, module and we're gonna search for Google Sheets. We're gonna click Google Sheets and we're gonna watch for new row rows. And then we're gonna create a new Google Sheets connection if you already don't have one. And then we're gonna say search by path, my drive, click here to choose file. And then you need to find this exact file, Google Sheets may plus the name of the file that you gave it. So it's gonna be this file. I'm gonna search it here. I'm gonna click it. And the sheet name is gonna be sheet one. And we're just gonna say, okay. If it uh, wants some specific ID, you just close that. And then you're gonna say run once. So now, if we click this one, we're gonna see that we have uh, two rows added. And then there is description field, has phone number, seller or buyer, and then row number, and all of that good stuff. And now we're gonna create a new module. We're gonna say open AI. And we're gonna choose this open AI. And we're gonna create a completion. So we're gonna create a new connection. If you don't know how to create a new connection, you need to go to this platform.openai.com slash account slash API keys. You're gonna create a new API key, name it whatever, and then create a new key. And then copy this key, and you will create a new connection here. Press the button and then add the API key. Organization ID can, ID can be left empty. And now we're gonna say create a chat completion. And then the model I recommend uh, you use uh, this one, so GPT 3.5 Turbo 0613. Uh, unless you really need a more powerful model, which you will probably not, you're gonna use this one, or you use GPT 4 if you need more powerful, but you don't need that. And if you uh, have a lot of text to put to GPT, then this model will not be enough. You're gonna use this 16K 0613. And these 0613 models are currently the newest and the cheapest. So that's why I'm choosing them. So I'm gonna choose this one for now. Then we're gonna add a new message. So the first role is gonna be system and the message content is gonna be describing what you want it to do. So for example, uh, so what we need to do, let me go back to my Google Sheets. What I wanna do is check if this message is written by buyer, uh, buyer or seller. So I'm gonna say, check if the message is written by a buyer or seller and then we're gonna add a new message the role is going to be user and we will pass in the uh, description so this description field contains our message so you could actually just uh, put like for example, just give it like message and then column and then description here even, it doesn't matter. But I just wanna separate it into multiple messages. And what these roles mean, they don't mean anything. Like you can, you can use any of these roles, it doesn't mean anything, it's not important. But I just like to organize it like this. Then we're gonna press okay. But the other thing is, as I said, now, whenever I add a new row, it's going to pass that through ChatGPT. But I want to only pass that if this uh, 
has phone number is yes and not if it's no. So we're gonna go here and set up a filter and we're gonna set up a filter and then uh, we're gonna say condition and we're gonna say has phone number equals to and then we're gonna just say yes like right like this and then we're gonna say okay or, or we can also label it like uh, has phone number filter and then okay we're gonna go here to chat GPT and we're gonna change the content of the system message a bit see if the message is written by a buyer or a seller respond with only one word buyer or seller so we can directly write this word into this uh, column instead of it responding like this based on your message it appears that it's a buyer so I just want to get a response buyer or seller okay and then we're gonna add a new module Google Sheets and then update a row so we're gonna now when the chat GPT responds with buyer or seller we're gonna update this uh, new row so we're gonna say um, we're gonna go here and say I'm gonna find this it's this sheet and then we're gonna uh, select sheet name and then the row number of this row that we are updating is gonna be our row number here and then the seller or buyer this is just gonna be our so chat GPT response so it's here in choices and then open messages and then open uh, just its content so this is what we're gonna put into buyer or seller whatever the chat GPT responds and I told it to respond with either buyer or seller so we're gonna press OK and now if I go here and I add uh, I am buying a property in New York and then do I have phone number yes so it doesn't get filtered so we can pass the filter and then if I go here and run this we can see that what's happening here is this is a buyer and let me test I am selling and then phone number no so this should not work so if I run this it's gonna stop at the filter here it's not gonna filter it because I don't have a phone number so it didn't pass this filter if you want to get more personal help check out my course and community in the description where we have all the classroom with all of the courses and then we also have community where you can ask questions and then community members are going to tell you uh, are going to answer your questions or you can also schedule a call with me and I will explain to you what you can get in this uh, course community where our goal is to teach you everything about AI so you can code any kind of AI app you want